Hi guys! So, I'm just about to do a dinner for me and for my boyfriend and tonight uh, I'm doing chicken breast with veggies. It's a very simple dish, but I'm gonna show you how to make this dish not only simple and healthy, but also really yummy, really tasty. So, what you're gonna need is some fresh herbs because that, that's a basic, you know. When you have fresh herbs, it makes every dish, it's just much better with it. So I have fresh parsley, you need a bunch of fresh parsley and I have rosemary, fresh rosemary because I grow it on my garden and I have huge bushes of rosemary and it smells nice uh, in the garden, the backyard smells really nice from rosemary and then I use it all the time in, when I cook so that's really good thing, if you can grow rosemary at, at home do it because you're gonna love it. Then you're gonna need some scallions, I have four scallions here, garlic, you're gonna need garlic because garlic makes everything taste just much better, it's awesome, and then I have these little mini baby potatoes, different colors, potatoes, they're just for fun, like this, you can use any potato you want, I just, um, I'm not gonna peel them, I'm gonna actually cook them in the, with the skin, so it's gonna give the dish more colors, it's gonna be prettier on the plate, and I have some cauliflower, some broccoli and uh, carrots. Also, I don't want to forget and I'm going to use these little peppers. I have about six peppers for, for the main meal. And then I have uh, another bunch of peppers for salad because I'm going to also make salad. Eating salad before your main meal is so important. You don't have to have a complicated salad. I make really light a very simple salad because you know it fills you up and then you can actually slow down when you're having your actual main course so um, also you're gonna need grapeseed oil I love using grapeseed oil because what it does when you cook with grapeseed oil it replaces butter it tastes really like butter but it's a much healthier version of a butter it's and it's much better than margarine you know that margarine is really not good for you um, you know a little bit of butter doesn't hurt you but cooking with butter all the time you know kind of adds up and you don't want to do that so you want to use grapeseed oil as much as you can and that's it then you're gonna need salt and pepper and that's it so let's get started I'm gonna show show you how to do this step by step so I'm gonna start with the chicken first with the protein because that's gonna take the longest amount of time to cook and I wanna cook it slow because I want the chicken to be juicy I don't want the chicken breast to be dried out so first things first we're gonna heat up the oil in the pan so you wanna turn down the stove on medium medium high and we're gonna add a little bit of the grapeseed oil and you're gonna let it heat up in the meantime you can salt the chicken from both sides now wash your hand again once you touch the chicken you have to always wash your hand before you touch the salt from the other side you can do the same thing with pepper now you're gonna take the rosemary and you're gonna cut it in half because this rosemary goes with the chicken and this part goes with the veggies so now you have to take the leaves off of the rosemary and you're gonna chop them in smaller pieces. Yeah, this is good. So the pan is hot enough so we can add the chicken into the pan. It's really loud right now because the oil is really hot. 
but that's fine. We're gonna do that for just like 30 seconds from each side, and then you're gonna flip the chicken. I'm gonna show you. And then you cover it. So now the chicken is covered and it's cooking. You're gonna turn down the heat on medium. And don't forget to check it out here and there because um, as the oil kind of evaporates, you're gonna have to add water to it because you don't wanna be adding oil. It will be too oily and stuff. The oil is there just for the beginning and then as it evaporates, you're gonna add a little bit more water. I'm gonna show you later. So um, now you can actually also add the rosemary into that. Now add some cold water. Cover it and cook it on medium heat. So now that we covered the chicken and it's cooking, we're gonna take care of the veggies. So you're gonna need a knife and we're gonna chop all the veggies into smaller pieces. Now chop the parsley. Now we have to heat up water in the pan so that we can boil the veggies. I'm dropping everything in. Parsley, peppers, potatoes, and the cauliflower. Now just a little bit of salt. I just cover it and let it cook. So now in the meantime, when the veggies and the chicken are cooking, um, we can chop the scallions because they're gonna go at the end and I don't wanna cook them, I just wanna use them fresh. So, I'm gonna actually use only three scallions for the cooked veggies and I'm gonna use one just for my uh, spinach salad, uh, just for extra flavor. So, let's chop the scallions right now. And I'm gonna transfer this finely chopped scallion for the salad into a little bowl. Pour some olive oil. I'm gonna use some cumin, ground cumin. I'm gonna grate some ginger in there. So I'm gonna cut a whole piece of ginger. I don't even peel it, I just um, grate it just like this. So that's the ginger. Now I'm gonna take a little piece of garlic and I'm gonna grate it in. I'm gonna take lemon, I'm gonna cut it in half. I use lemons a lot because we have a lemon tree and we have tons and tons of lemons. So I'm constantly doing lemonade, uh, lemon water. I use lemons in my cooking all the time and I love it because there's just nothing better than lemons. Fresh lemons. Awesome. So let's choose the lemon so that we can make uh, the dressing out of it. Okay. Now you're gonna need only, if the lemon is big like this one, you need only half of it. Add it in. Now mix it well. All the ingredients in the little bowl. Now this with the lemon, it's really, and with the garlic, it's sour and it's spicy. And what you wanna do is you wanna add some um, sweetness to it. So I'm using maple syrup. A little, bit, a little bit more salt. Mm. 
This is perfect. So these peppers are going into the dinner salad. So I'm gonna chop them again. Okay, peppers are done. I'm gonna transfer them into the bowl. I'm gonna chop this parsley. Okay. Parsley is done. I'm gonna transfer it into the bowl with the peppers. So now I have the peppers and the parsley in the bowl. I'm gonna add the spinach and I'm gonna add the dressing on top of that and I'm just gonna move it around make sure that the dressing covers every leaf in the salad now let's check the veggies yeah they're done they're done the water has evaporated so now you're gonna switch off the heat completely underneath the veggies and you're gonna take it off of the heat. So here are the veggies in the pan. What I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil, just like this, just drizzle it over it. Now, a little bit of salt, sea salt. At the end, I'm gonna use uh, scallions on top of that. Oh, this is not clumsy at all. <laughs> it's okay, you can be clumsy in the kitchen. Nobody can see you. Um, you're gonna mix it in. And it's done. It's very basic and it's super yummy. I juiced the second half of the lemon. I added one minced clove of garlic and a little bit of the maple syrup. And I'm just going to pour it over the chicken while it's still in the pan. And I'm just going to kind of, you know, move it around in that sauce and see what happens. So now I'm just going to put everything on the plate and I'm going to try to make it look pretty. <laughs> this is always a challenge for me. I don't know why I cannot make plates look pretty like other people do. But, you know, I'm trying and I'm gonna eventually learn it. So guys, this is what my plate looks like. So I put the veggies first and the chicken on top. That's how I saw it on TV. They do it like that. And I think it looks quite good. You know, I put a little bit of um, parsley on top of the chicken for garnish. And here is my salad bowl. And I wish I had better looking plates. Now you guys can let me know in the comments if you like my plates or not. Because if you don't and you leave me comments that you don't like my plates, then maybe I can convince my boyfriend Jesse that we need better plates. And that would be great. So, guys. That's it for today. I'm just gonna take pictures so that I can post it on my website and on Facebook and everywhere. And... Um, I just want to hear your feedback, share with me your recipes, you know, let me know if you try this and if you like this dish. Um, and remember, you know, like working out is one thing, but we all have to eat healthy. We all have to take care of our bodies in, in uh, terms of diet because, you know, especially as you get older, I can see it on myself. I'm already 31 years old and uh, you know the hoop over the 30 it was just a, such a huge difference for me It is like really you have to the older you get the more you have to be careful of about what you're eating because it affects everything it doesn't it's not only Affects the way you look but also how you feel and it affects your health and your energy So it's really important that you're eating the right things that you're not putting some junk into your body because it's really not worth it, you know. <sighs> so, that's it for today. I'm gonna go have my dinner and I'm gonna see you guys soon. I'm gonna actually see you on Monday. Don't forget that on Monday I'm starting uh, my coaching for the strength DVDs. The first month I'm gonna do with you and I'm gonna walk you through it, what you're supposed to do when you start your home workout program like that and what are the right steps and what to focus on, stuff like that. So 
um, check back and have a great weekend. Ciao! Over 10,000 people have already seen amazing results with my Z-Cut Power Cardio Series. So now take the next step with my Z-Cut Power Strength. Real people with real results.